So hi, Micropunter here, all over here. I've been using this microscope here that you see, it's an Olympus CH40. I've been using this one now for 22 years, uh, since 1998, and uh, I've never really cleaned the illumination system. And uh, over the last couple of years, a lot of dust um, has built up, and this is kind of already disturbing the image quality a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to give it a cleaning myself, um, and I'm gonna start taking it apart. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. And uh, even though you might not have the same microscope, maybe this little uh, project or activity today um, also motivates you to have uh, yeah, a look inside your microscope and also to give it a little bit of a cleaning every now and then. Looking uh, through the microscope, um, I'm able to see a lot of dust and dirt. Uh, and that's really disturbing, especially when you're doing pictures or making videos. And it doesn't matter at which magnification uh, because it's always uh, present. And and uh, I tried to clean pretty much all of the parts that could be accessed, uh, but the dirt still is there. So I said, okay, it's I think time to give a general cleaning. So I started to take the screws out in the back of the microscope and there are lots of electronics in there, transformers and so on, because I have a 12 volt um, halogen lamp. But that was the wrong place really. So I also flipped the microscope over and I took out the bottom part uh, to see if this is actually a better place to reach the illumination system where I supposed the dirt to be. And uh, as a matter of fact here, this is part of the Köhler illumination. Look at how much dust and dirt there is uh, all accumulated over the 20 years. So I cleaned all of this away. Um, and uh, the only place where I could actually uh, find the dust uh, to be is actually in the Köhler illumination and in the um, on the glass uh, plates uh, that are in part of this uh, illumination system. So I had to actually uh, take uh, off uh, this uh, top cover here and I decided uh, to give it a proper cleaning. I've never uh, removed uh, all of those parts uh, before and after 20 years it's I think time now to have a closer look um, also how these parts uh, look from the inside. The screws were kind of difficult to reach um, but uh, luckily these were the right screws. I removed them um, and uh, I could uh, lift away the whole cover. Look at this gigantic lens. Yeah, It's all part of the uh, illumination system here. That is uh, the field diaphragm or also known as the Köhler diaphragm and I think this is the way how the dust actually entered uh, the system um, because it's not completely sealed off and uh, when the lamp heats up and cools down and this might actually draw in some of the air um, and associated dust. I also removed uh, this lens here um, but I discovered that there was actually not a lot of cleaning to do here. Um, actually it was uh, more or less uh, almost, I want to say almost dust free there. Um, that, that is the halogen lamp of course. Um, I also held, it, held the lens against the light and did not see so much dust um, on there. I gave it a cleaning anyway, um, but this was actually not really the problem um, it, because uh, the it was uh, way too far down and sealed off uh, so dust particles could not reach this place. Um, but uh, there were other parts um, uh, as, as well. Well, I gave it a cleaning with compressed air in any case, but this was actually the problem part. Okay, so first of all, I used some wet tissue paper to remove um, all of the, yeah, the, the big stuff, so to say. Um, but of course, this did not uh, improve the situation a lot because uh, the dirt was located inside. Um, and uh, I think uh, this was really a necessary clean. It looked quite okay just holding it against uh, the light this way. However, something that you do not see quite well here in the video is, is that there was actually a thin layer of dust and dirt covering the glass plates. Um, and uh, when I basically touched it with my finger, I could actually, uh, yeah, see the dust um, and it's not grease uh, from my fingers um, what you see um, but that is actually the dust uh, which has um, accumulated uh, on the surface so simply using an air blower would not be enough because this would not have removed uh, um, all of this dust maybe you can see a little bit over there the fingerprints again that's not grease but that is actually the uh, yeah the dust that i've pushed together now it's a little bit better visible so i had to use uh, again uh, some kind of a cleaning tissue to um, remove um, all of that um, that's basically what i've done um, and this greatly improved the situation but uh, when i held the whole thing again against the light i still saw that there was still a lot of dust uh, present um, inside between the the glass plates okay because there's a glass plate on the very top and on the very bottom and in between there is the cooler field diaphragm so i had to unmount um, everything uh, here um, as well um, and i had to use uh, some pliers here because it was not so easy to um, unscrew 
um, but uh, this was actually uh, this actually did the trick and uh, when I removed everything here maybe you can already start to see it that there is already um, quite a bit of dirt um, also on the inside surface um, of, of the system here so reaching all of these things was not so easy but luckily um, it uh, could be serviced uh, that was really important uh, that uh, all of the parts could be taken apart uh, without uh, any problems. You yeah, couldn't remove it from the inside, so at least I tried, aha, see, from the outside it works. And now you can actually maybe see much better that there is quite a bit of dust and dirt um, on the surface here. And this is the thing that actually gave me the problems now. So that's 20 years of dirt. So, and that's, uh, of course, uh, then, the place that I had to clean. Yeah, here you see it also quite well when you um, collect the dust with your finger. Um, a lot of stuff here. Um, and uh, this, of course, also uh, changes a little bit the color of the light, uh, all of the dust, and not only that, it also makes the pictures quite unattractive. So I gave it another clean, and afterwards I, again, assembled everything again, and I was happy that this actually solved uh, the problem. Um, so, and even if your microscope is constructed differently, I think uh, it's a good idea every now and then to take apart everything and to give it a nice little clean. Well, and there were two things that kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, I did not uh, expect that. Uh, number one, I did not expect that there is so much electronics inside the microscope. I think the only thing that you have to do is kind of change the, the voltage from 220 volts uh, to down to 12 volts for the halogen bulb. I didn't uh, expect uh, so many transformers and, and um, basically electronic parts. And the second thing that kind of surprised me is that there was quite a lot of plastic, um, especially the cover was completely made of plastic, but that's okay. Uh, because uh, um, it was uh, quite solid in any case and uh, it was quite uh, quite strongly built. I think that's enough for today. Um, be brave, take apart your own microscope as well if you think that it needs servicing. Um, be careful in any case, don't apply any force when you t uh, take it apart um, and uh, every now and then also give it a little bit of a cleaning. Wish you all the best, happy micro hunting as always. See you around next time, bye bye.